the film is about uh, Sam Doombie, uh, played by John Schneider, um, uh, a mysterious uh, drifter who uh, gets off an interstate bus in the small Texan town of Smithville. Through actions and events that occur in the town, Sam happens to be in the right place at the right time uh, to save people or to work out their problems. Uh, but unfortunately, when uncomfortable truths start coming out amongst the community, he is rejected and he disappears as quickly as he came. It's really cool. He's a mystery... Um... I think kind of like Clint Eastwood was a mystery in uh, in the movies where he had no name, and my character Sam Doonby is kind of like that here. I'm not really sure who he is, or where he's from, or where he thinks he's going. That's kind of cool. I play Laura Reaper, and she is a very sassy, spunky woman that has so much color and variety and dynamic to her. She has such insecurity and brokenness in her family, in her life, not having purpose or direction, until she meets Mr. Sam Doonby. And Mr. Sam Doonby takes her into a new world where she's able to start to see life as if there's something more to it. Tony's a nice guy, Tony's a wannabe, but Tony is not who you think he is. I've been on vacation, uh -huh. you know, whitewater rafting with my family. Now all of a sudden I am a pretty quiet town and faced with uh, some mishaps going on. And I've got to now go in and, you know, just do my little investigating and just check out what's happening. Meet up with some interesting characters in the town and, and try to piece together what's going on. There are so many movies that come and go, but uh, very few that have this kind of a message about uh, really the specialness and the uniqueness of each life. And Sam Doonby's character uh, really shows how the world changed because this one person lived. Doonby is a different kind of faith movie. It may be not what you expect at, at first because uh, there are no priests, there are, there are no prayers, there are, there's no crosses. Uh, but it has a very, very strong Christian message um, and a pro-life message built into the, the ending of this film, which will leave people leaving the cinema and thinking about it for a long time afterwards. What really blew me away was that I, I read the whole script from cover to cover. And I'm going like, oh my God, this is going to rock the world. This is really going to put the frosting on the cake, so to speak. It has the potential to stir a great debate. I think the people that see it are going to want to talk about it after the film. And there's going to be a lot to discuss, and I think it's, uh, I think it will be thought provoking, and um, I hope it will move people, and um, there is a very strong message that is um, will be, I believe, quite obvious. The most appealing thing, to me, about the movie is it's so, uh, it's open to interpretation. It's like impressionistic art. Everybody involved with this particular movie thinks it's about something else. And they're sure of it. The script had multi-layers to it, and it's always good to be involved with a with a story, mm -hmm. you know, with this uh, and and something that has a uh, has a, a a very very deep resonance. What I would love for Dune B to help inspire in people's lives is for them to ask, "What is my purpose? Am I significant?" Who are the people around me that made a difference in my life? Can I make a difference in someone else's? This movie is like that. A kind word changes, changes somebody's life forever. Uh, a nasty word might change somebody's life forever. Uh, a word of advice might make it so that you have a wonderful experience from here on out, or you may die this afternoon because you took my advice. You don't know, but you have to live it. you got to go for it. Every life makes a difference, mm -hmm. basically, in one little word. So it's really a, a remarkable tool, this film, I think, to get people to converse in the car uh, on the way home, then at dinner maybe the next day. You always think if, if people hadn't met or circumstance hadn't happened or you haven't, you know, what would, what would uh, come down there? But that's what, that we all count. Right. We all count more than you would think. I don't think I've ever used this term in a film that I've been involved in with art, honestly. 
it's a wonderful film. Uh, we had a lot of fun filming it. The strongest thing I think would be is the support. It, it's just a wonderful film. You just, you know, watch the trailer, you know, and you'll agree. Doing here. Looks kind of lost. Yeah, like he's looking for something. Probably a no good drifter. A no good drifter? Maybe a wandering Samaritan to bring love and peace to us all. <laughs> just seems like there's something more to your story than just bumming around. I figure that we're supposed to enjoy every moment and try to make a difference. I hope you're not about to do something crazy. Children are a miracle, a gift from God. It's your duty to look after them good. Everybody wants to fulfill their God-given talents. You got responsibilities, girl. Losing me, losing me. The devil's after you. Who is this white knight? Sam Doomby. Doomby. We've been trying to check you out. Nobody knows nothing about you, Sam. You don't know one thing about me. I know all that I need to know. I just want to thank you as a family for what you did yesterday. Hey, don't look. Touch me. This town is full of crazy people. You've seen a ghost. Maybe I have. What sort of a life would he have to look forward to anyway? I think I'm falling in love with you, Mr. Doonby. Sam Doonby, the man from nowhere. This used to be a nice quiet town till you showed up. My future is the next second, Laura. You see it? There it went.